youth and all that comes with youth it's just a gift from nature but age it's a work of art i love it and like you said not for a vanity thing i could look at it as strength training i'm going to do all those things and i could look at it as a as a, as a body but to me it's it's a work of art on the inside too, yes. because I'm going to age fantastically. What do you think about that, Serene? Well, you see, now <laughs> I just want to tell you about what you think about this this little polite rule. Then we'll shoot to it's, you. It doesn't work anymore. I'm losing all my great thoughts, and I don't really have anything massive to say. You see, I only had a button remark, and that it was going to work oh. then, and now it doesn't work now. Let's go to Dan. Dan, what do you think? It geeks me out so much <laughs> to see how professional. Pearl is. <laughs> just try on something new. She makes her comment and then just, let's go to Dan. You know, if you're in that, that, that season where it's not a gift anymore and it's not just happening by itself, why don't you become an artist? It's a fun hobby. This is The Party with Serene and Pearl. Get it right, P-O-D-D-Y. Women and men, boys and girls, we are keeping it bisexual today. <laughs> Uh, I've been on my grind lately and I can't wait to tell you about it. Serena and Pearl are here. I'm here. The crew's here. And you're here. What? Our favorite friends from behind the fourth wall. You have to explain this bisexual because it sounds so whacked. Well, um, <clears throat> I was just on a film set. I, non-skill victory, want to report. <laughs> uh, I got my first national commercial on camera. So I've Whoa. done I've done voiceover nationals. Yeah, I just heard your voiceover for on Chipotle. the Chipotle. Uh, oh, yeah. it was so smoky. Do you know that I, you know cuz you send us you you are the official spokesperson for Chipotle on the air, right? Yeah. On the radio waves. Yeah. My husband's never heard you on that. And yeah. so you sent your latest one to us. Sorry, yeah, did yeah. you? She sat you? us all down in a room. I we all sat, sat in a nice. semi circle. Sam was yeah. there, Charlie was there, okay. and I'm like, "Listen to Danny, whom we moment. get to work Steve, with." Steve Pat was there. And um and they all listen to you and, and Charlie got this really like impressed look on his face. He's Ooh, like, he's pretty good. Right? Charles. Yeah. Man, when I make Charles impressed, yeah. that's a big deal because he thinks the world's he's filled with morons. He's wearing his shirt to be biceptual. Do you notice that? He's got it folded up on either side. Serene, you're you just, being told. Did, you just did that. What oh. are you doing? You know how to get a microphone close to your face. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm I get it told. from from big sis Serene. I mean, I know you don't like to talk about yourself, but you're crushing it in the gym these days. I don't know. I don't know. But I, all you we were doing do was know. holding the mic and that was all. We, we said, your biceps are looking good today, Danny. And he said, yes, he's very biceptual. But for today's culture, it was just an odd word. So. But I do want to find out what what motion picture you were in or what is it? It was it was just a car commercial. Oh, But it was a national. Nationals are a big deal. Did you because get to lean against the car? I, yeah, and, I got and, and in the car. And just tweak your bicep and just give it a little... <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Reach for that handle. Uh, but here's the thing. Why I was sharing that is I get, I get there to the shoot, right? And you meet your, your fellow actors who are also on set. And it's these like grade A models, okay? <laughs> it's, it's four of us. We're, we're friends. That's our role. We're all okay. just friends. Yeah. But they are like something fresh out of like LA's <laughs> finest gym. I mean... Their teeth was on point. Now, you know, Their I teeth these, was on point. I have like yeah. sharp little, little, little <laughs> Romanian just. Arr, arr. Okay, we just, we got rid of all the Romanian listeners. Thank you for that. Well, I'm part Romanian. Oh, okay, good. I'll say what I want about my people. <laughs> of course, it's funny how You've many done people like you own. You've that, that me and three or whatever that thing is called. What is <laughs> and it called? he owns all of them. What is that yeah. company called? 23 and 23 and me. Yeah, I know. I get 1% anything and I'm going to make racial jokes about <laughs> yeah. that people group. Um, so, uh, they, there's these grade A models there. And my first thought was, is moi a grade A model? And then, <laughs> and then, and then reason and logic immediately settled in. No, of course not. And I just thought, what am I doing here? What and was like, your character? Yeah, who am, who am I then? If these are, like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm amidst actor royalty right now. And then there's me. And, um, and then it dawned on me over the Sorry. weekend because we had, the, first we had the fitting and then I went home for the weekend and then we had the shoot. And over the weekend, it hit me. They're aspirational, and I keep the project grounded. Oh. I'm the relatable character where people can go, oh, okay, we don't have, you know, this isn't just a mo mm. that I, I could get this car. I could own this car. Cause, so that's why I Did think I was Did you feel cast. good about you being your, that person? The point was. I think he's not yes. playing humble. No, no, no. The point was is that this guy was like D1 football looking. I mean, he looked really really good every shirt on him looked right and the and the the wardrobe person was fitting me 
And they were like, um, she was just like, no, not at all. And then the next one was like, and by the way, everything she put on him was like, win, 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 win. And then with me, she was like, not at all. And then we put, we try another shirt on. She's like, it's like your dad's shirt. She's like, neck, you know, we try another shirt. And then she goes like this. She goes, you are small. And Not I was after like, these years of us calling you middle medium. Dan, Dan. I know. I was like, medium, well, Dan, I actually Dan. quoted. I was Philippi. like, I was like, I thought I was medium. She was like, you're small. And uh, I was like, you know how that you hear about like in Hollywood, they'll trash you. They'll tell you anything or whatever. Yeah. Not that this was in Hollywood, but, but they will. They just, Nashville's it's going logistics. Hollywood. Come on. Yeah, yeah. It's just logistic. It's not personal. It's just because on the card, I'm a medium, but she's like, we bought medium clothes and they don't fit you. Like maybe if we wash it a hundred times. But so it was just this eye-opening moment that I'm small. <sighs> I've been doing push-ups ever since, and I'm feeling Is more that bisexual. Why you've got these ripped arms today? Are they you're ripped? responding well so, to the exercise. So, Every time you just flinch, there's like a little the oh, muscle really? talks. Well, you know, really? and I know we're going to get onto a topic today, but it actually just, matches. Okay, but I've got to go a bit deeper. So you often find harsh criticism or constructive. I don't know if that was harsh or constructive. No, somewhere no, in between. All love. All love. You, you, you actually find it helpful. So, so mm -hmm. you actually found that a good thing to be t all these years of Serene and I encouraging you and saying, no, Danny, you're medium, Dan. He Dan. is medium to me. Is it better for a woman to just come up and say you're small? Well, what it did was it drove me to the barbells. Mm. And 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 so then in that case it is better. You know, if I ever get fat, I want you to say, "Danny, you're fat now. Mm. You're fat now." And then that's that's gonna help. It, me. it will never Save come me. out of our no. mouths. Well, no, it wouldn't come out of your mouth. No. But you could say, "Dan, you're we we like the gobbler. It's cute." You'd probably <laughs> say something like that. Oh, it's cute. You got you got a little chin now. And then I'd I'd know. <laughs> but it, yeah, but it won't really do anything until you went to a shoot and they said the gobbler has to go. Oh, they'll trash you on the shoot, man. <laughs> They're just like, dude. Are they can wor you they're worse than real than children. You know how children just say anything. Yeah, they're they real. just because say because it's anything. logistics. It's yeah. just we need a, a we have a project and it has to be delivered a certain way. Yeah. And you're you're a object. You're not. Yeah. You're a tool, and we need the tool to be right for the job. Uh, so uh. it's not personal, and I welcome it. I have a question though for y'all yeah. about y'all stuff because I just got the email about Kiora. Thank you for helping us pronounce oh, it. Oh yeah, Kiora. Kiora is. That actually, you just do you want to know the Maori way? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I'll tell you in a, in a chant. We grew up with our granddad doing this. Shall I make the face? Can you do the, can you do the actions too? N you could. But you have to stand up for the actions. So just, it's just a greeting, but the, the Maori, and, and it sound, it's very aggressive, and they do things with their tongue, and they <gasps> open their face, and they the, open the their what? what the, the ch it's not the shaka. What is it? Well, no. it's, it's a greeting, and yeah. it's a fierce haka. Maori greeting, and it's, and it, you want me to do some of do that? The, do the terribly, haka right now. Terribly. So I you won't know do the, the tongue so we thing. Will, new peeps in the room. We, our, new Zealand is our native country. That's the passports we hold. We're, we are legal aliens. We're not even citizens of America. So new, the New Zealand people are our people. And we were called Pakiha, which means the white New Zealanders. Yeah. Yeah, but I grew up, my best friend in New Zealand was Maori, like native. So it, this oh. is when you greet, you say kia ora. Well, we say kia ora, but it's kia ora. Kia ora. And so it's kamate, kamate, kia ora. <laughs> you did that too well. Whoa. You need a few tats on your face, yeah. though. That hit me though, like angry mom. Like mom. Well, it seems angry, upset. but it's actually essence of health to yes. you. Like it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Cure means essence of health. But sure. in fact, in fact, all the last four babies. You know, I had those four miscarriages at the end of my journey. Um, no matter if it was a boy or a girl, they they were all going to be cura. That's how much we, we love that yes. that essence of life to you yeah so we birthed something that's our yeah. new hormone program but we called it kiora so anyway what so were you going to ask about what is kiora um i didn't read the email i just <laughs> learned it's the great branding i tell charlie he just needs a little bit of lowering on that that uh yeah <laughs> rate. Oh, oh, he, he can go from two bucks to a buck 75 he never read any of our books i i, I skimmed the story did you enough. like the branding did you the branding was good and i did read the part uh, serene's part about mm. the oh, about her serene. daughter and what no, it's a gonna, hormone you program. Name your so, baby Kiora. so oh, I didn't even know that that was put out there. Yeah, like, was. Can I go get my food piece while we're talking? You shall not give anything away. No, I know, but yeah. I'm just hungry. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, that is we named that. That's going to be our hormone program because we didn't want it called Trim Healthy Hormones. We wanted it something <laughs> thank, thank <you>. separate, <laughs> Kiora. So the the name was just you know meant so much to us. It's beautiful. But but um, 
so that will be our sex and thyroid hormones coming in a few months, but we launched with the Incredin hormones, which is GLP-1, GIP, and those have just, those emails have just gone out, and they're not for everyone. They're just for people who are deficient in Incredin hormones, and how do you know you're deficient in Incredin hormones? You are fat loss and insulin resistant. Yeah. The things you do like diet and exercise that work for others do not work oh, for okay. you. Okay, so these hormones are weight loss targeting? They're peptides, yes. Peptide is a hormone, a small hormone. And yes, they help people that can't do it who tried everything else. What's the difference between this and something like a Zempic? It is the same thing except it's compounded. And, um, and it's different in the fact that it's different titration. It's low and slow. Our doctors want to do things differently because Ozempic, Wigovi, these things that have been out there for a while now for weight loss, yes, they're very powerful, but the way that they have been titrated up, there's, you've heard it, there's so much sensationalism. There's so many people that have got a lot of side effects. I mean, there's, I mean, you hear about it everywhere, right? So um, our doctors believe that it should, they are so helpful, but it should be done differently. It should be done more conservative. It should be done safely. Well, when we first heard of it, it was it actually had nothing to do with weight loss. We were at an anti-aging conference. It's You're just really so crazy about You're me and just my like, mic. No, Arden told me, it's just like, Mike, I don't care about it, Mike. <laughs> Man. Um, so anyway, we were up in Las Vegas in an anti-aging conference, just alternative biohackers and health doctors. And um, we were just all learning about peptides, which is it's going to be the future of medicine because it's natural. And we were learning about GLP-1 mimetics and creatine hormone mimetics because they mimic the hormones that we naturally make. And um, we were learning about it for anti-Alzheimer's, for anti-cancer, for all of these incredible reasons. And this is before it kind of hit and became trendy for weight loss because people realized people could lose weight on it because it makes you insulin sensitive again and, and reverses insulin resistance. But then you see, whenever people find out that something works great, then becomes the wild west and people use it in, a, mm. in an abusive way. So it's not that GLP-1 um, agonists are, are dangerous. It's just that they've, they've used it abusively. Yeah, like testosterone. Without, yes, right? yes, testosterone. Testosterone is natural, but yes. guys are going into the gym bathroom, mm -hmm. injecting it into their friggin' eyeball. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. It's just like, God. They're using it like roids. Yeah, they roid it out, and yeah. now it's this harmful level of Even for women, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, so, you can get pellets. I'm not against pellets. I'm against pellets when they push testosterone up to a point that it is not um, balanced with estrogen. They forget about estrogen. It's like, let's just be testosterone woman. So Kiora is targeting, it's for women who are um, weight loss and resistant. Yeah. Oh, and men. Mm -hmm. My husband has been on it well before we even thought of bringing okay. it. Yeah. Um, but we've got, we've received a lot of backlash and flack. I mean, we didn't want to launch this piece first. We wanted Bell's to launch tears like every morning sex. for the last two weeks. We wanted to la wa launch sex and thyroid hormones first because we knew that it's been sensationalized by TV, by media, by whatever. And everyone knows someone who threw up and someone who yeah, ended up course. in hospital because their, you know, their um, the motility slowed way down and they couldn't poop and they got backed up. And so, oh, you I hate know, not pooping. And, and, and it's a shot. I and know other ways of doing that too. Just sit down and abuse cheese and sit there for, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but, you know, so, so, we, so. We've got a lot of flat because it's like Pearl and Serene, what the heck? I thought you were holistic. Why are you abandoning your ways and doing shots? You know, greed. Is it greed? Is it money? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I mean, so, so, but I think, I think, you know, that's just kind of like sticker shock. What Serene and Pearl have abandoned from Healthy and now they're all about the shot. So far from the truth. We don't take it. <clears throat> Most of our women don't need it. But by jingos, those who do. We want to provide a safe, a safe way of doing it. And, and we've been talking to doctors for two years who feel the same way. We so. have so many people that we hear from because we hear from all of you. And we hear from the ones that have incredible testimonies, that have lost 100 pounds, that have been able to keep it off, that have rocked the plan and it's just been freedom for, her, for them. Then we've heard from other people who are so stuck and are so broken and are desperate and have tried harder than all the people that have got the great testimonies. And they, they are desperate. They are desperate to find the healthy weight. They're desperate for energy. They're desperate for life again. They, they, it's, it's such a cry that we're like, we cannot leave these people behind. And so I, I feel very personal about it because my husband was in the same boat. I used to say to him at first, you know, our marriage, just eat like me and then you'll do great. Well, 
you know, in the end, he had all of his duckies in a row. You know, he ticked all of the boxes and nothing. He was pre-diabetic. If he didn't, you know, tick all the boxes, he would have been diabetic. It yeah. would have been worse for him. He kind of staved that and off. His whole family has these genetic right. things. And he was just, he felt like he was so exhausted. He felt like he was just aging faster than anybody else. And he was so exhausted. And we found, you know, these GLP-1 mimetics and we, they were a game changer. So they gave his life back to him. Is it a, a pill you swallow? Is it something you inject? No, How it is it something you inject. But like one... insulin, it's just a little sub Q that you yeah, inject once, once a, week. a week instead of, you once know, a week. people on insulin shots, they have to inject, I don't know mm -hmm. how many times a day. And the beautiful thing is, is my husband was at that crossroad. Was he going to have to start injecting insulin every day? Or could he do a once a week injection of a um, incretin hormone? It's been a game changer. Are we talking subcutaneous or intramuscular We are injection? talking subcutaneous. You've been working at the men's testosterone clinic, have you not? I have. I have. And I'm <laughs> hey, I'm not afraid of, of, of intramuscular. I do intramuscular Yeah, but it is, it is But subcutaneous sub is such a baby injection. It's such I mean, a baby. It's no big deal. That's what I, I love mean. me some sub-Q. You know, sub -Q. I've done some other peptides, not this particular one because I don't need it in me, in me sub-Q. Hey, and I love it. I'm like, Serena oh, just shot myself it. up. You feel like yeah. a, a surgeon without the pain or without the training? Yeah, you just like... Yeah, so it's a once a week injection. Is this something you're going to, do people qualify for? Do they yeah, need they to have to qualify. Like you can't do it if you're under 25 or 25 BMI. It's not for people to be skinnier than they are yeah. if they're already healthy. Okay. It's for people, a specific group of people that are actually different. You know, science is coming out and showing there's four different genetic SNPs. You know, the NSPS SNPs. It's like a mutation. You know how some people have MTHFR? Yeah. Others don't, uh, the, the way it is in our body and others have different mutations. Mm -hmm. Well, there's some people and they say there's four particular ones. We actually go into them in our book. I don't have them in my mind. But if you have one of them, you may have more food noise, meaning you don't have as much satiety after a meal. And it's not the food noise that's, that's good because some people think, oh, I've got food noise just because they have to plan the next meal and they have to think hunger, about what, what they're going to you know, buy at the grocery store. It's a natural thing in life to forage for food, whether it was, back in the days where you had to go like pluck your own chicken or buy stuff off the internet like these days and go to the grocery store. But we're meant to think about food enough to prepare and to, you know, and this anticipation. But people that have food noise, um, it's when there's a battle going on in the head. It's a battleground. It's when they've had enough. And you, yeah. But you can't feel satisfied with what you had. And um, so if you have one, you'll have more food noise. But then there are certain people with all four of these. They call them obesity genes now. And they are at a disadvantage from the rest of us. They Their insulin doesn't work as well. It, mm -hmm. it stays up. It doesn't clear. Their and this blood is a sugar hormone doesn't. issue they're having. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it's a gen it comes from genetics. And they don't have as many ingredient hormones in yeah. their gut. They don't have the satiety hormones. And the GLP-1 oh. receptors, there's not as many. And they've tested wow. people and they've figured out some people have less they maybe they make as many incretin hormones, but they have less receptors for them. But what happens if you have it's like a perfect storm? You make less incretin hormones, GLP one, GIP, what is it? P, uh, PYY, PYY, and CKK. CKK. Those are your four main ones, right? Mm -hmm. You make less, you also have less receptors to them, and then what happens when you age? All of our um, hormone receptors as we age don't function as well. Plus, we make less hormones. So that person... And if you're a woman and you lose your yeah. estrogen, then estrogen is your insulin sensitivity And then you right go through there. thyroid pause, which is like happens in the late 40s, early 50s. It's like a perfect storm. Some woman who that could lose weight and could be at a healthy weight early in their life suddenly get to 50 and like, it's over. So is Kiora complete hormone optimization for women or is that a section targeting just weight loss no right now it's only the um weight loss peptides but okay. in a few months it will be all oh, sex and thyroid we hormones were, we were planning the sex okay. and thyroid hormones first that's um, right. that's but the asking. background work behind that yeah. because women are complicated people and we have worked the plan out to be very very simple and there's been a lot of work that went into it. And so we, uh, it was going to take longer than we thought. And we're like, this woman desperate. And we're still about five months off, right? Yeah, so we were ready to go with GLP-1. We thought, hey, we're going to get backlash because there's no context here. And we got backlash. So. We got so worse. is it as simple as a woman injecting once a week and begin seeing results? Or do they need to have an exercise program in place? Oh, we don't want them to do any of this um, GLP-1 mimetics unless they have everything else and all unless those other but we're program. not talking about perfection but we no. are talking about protein needs to be at play why and strength training why 
it does have a, a gastric emptying slowdown effect, which is a good thing. That It's like slowdown of gastric emptying equals um, speed up of fat loss. Oh, yeah. Um, but when you're gastric empty and slow down, you can feel a lot fuller for longer. So sometimes your calories will go down. But so we people, don't want protein to go down. But some people say, oh, it, that GLP-1, you know, we've heard it slows gastric emptying. Like that's the last, that's the most awful thing that could happen to your digestive system. It's actually the best that any food that slows down your gastric emptying, those are the foods that, that clear your blood sugar after a meal. Those are the foods that give you satiety. Like whey protein. Whey protein, like cinnamon, kefir. like dark cocoa. Yeah, kefir, all of these foods that actually they bring GLP-1 to, to many people. Some people, they can't even, their body's beyond that. Um, their metabolisms are so broken. But these are the, the, what do these foods do? This is what's in here, but we won't mm -hmm. talk to you about it right now. If you're, if, you're not, um, what, if you're listening and not watching, I have a little, uh, basically this kind of provides the GLP-1 naturally in your system. But anyway, all that to say is we want gastric slowdown. We just want to be able to do the things like have enough fiber, have enough movement in our um, lifestyles and have enough hydration to be able to combat that we and have a slow yeah. and low titration. We do not want gastric stopping. And that's no. the extremes that you hear about. Oh, my goodness, my friend ended up in hospital. That's horrible. And it can happen if you're on too a higher dose. And, and sadly, not, and it's happened to people. And you don't do anything else. You know, yeah. you, don't, you don't eat the right food. You're not and, drinking enough water. Yeah. So all that. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so, you know, our doctors are just determined to do it differently to what's out there. And so we partnered with these particular people that care. Mm -hmm. it, it's just time for that. And, and, you know, these things that people say, well, I'm just waiting for them all to be taken off the market in a big lawsuit. I mean, there's lawsuits out there now for, for many things. Well, there's lawsuits um, for testosterone. Yeah. <laughs> Lawsuits but, for but hot they're coffee. not yeah. going away. But you tell that to to you tell that to a person who has like Pearl's husband had a pituitary tumor, mm. a tumor on the pituitary, a benign one, but it, it totally tanked his testosterone as a young man. So you tell no, that he to wasn't people. young. He was in forties, and well, then it that's got bad young when it, yeah. to lose your testosterone. Yeah. <laughs> Please Very make young. it be young. And yeah. so <laughs> my point being though is, you tell that to somebody that testosterone you know, is, is not good and because it's lawsuits and because people have treated it, mm -hmm. you know, abusively, there are people that need testosterone replacement. There are people that need GLP-1 replacement. Yeah. yeah, so, okay, so we've got... That's Kiora. not what this whole thing was about. This party was about, for no, sure. I, I, Go I, ahead. I hijacked it. Go ahead. Um, so, Kiora, coupled with moderate exercise, coupled with... Strength training. Major. Strength training. Yeah. It has to be that. Guess why? Why? Because when you're in fat loss mode, and a lot of people haven't been in fat loss mode that take these things for a long time because they've been stuck. Yeah. When you're in fat loss mode, you have to make sure it's only fat loss that's going, not your muscle loss. Do you know why? Because you might be lighter... But you'll actually be fatter in the end mm -hmm. because your ratio of lean muscle mass to fat will be higher after losing weight if you're losing muscle tissue at the same time. So if, if you've got a little bit of muscle tissue there, but much of your weight loss is lean muscle tissue, in the end, you might be lighter on the scale, but you're actually heavier in fat. But we're not talking about like hours of strength training, just three times a week, a, a, a strength training mm -hmm. session of like okay. anywhere from 15 mm -hmm. to 45 minutes. Last question about yep. Kiora. For the average <clears throat> woman... Yeah. Who starts Kiora is well, starts strength what? training. The, the incretin hormone peptides, the weight loss ones? The weight loss yeah. side. Uh, three <clears throat> days a week strength training yeah. um, and doing great eating the Trim Healthy Mama way. Yeah. Average, how long does it take to lose 10 pounds? Well, you see, that's the thing. We, we don't want people thinking it's a race and thinking there's, there's a certain time to it. Everybody's going to respond differently. And we want people to take their good time about this because slow weight loss is the sustainable weight loss. And the reason why some people are so broken and end up really genuinely needing these GLP-1 agonists is because they have done this chronic dieting, this very, these um, diets that they're wanting fast results. And so they've been severe, severe caloric control. And um, that's the reason why they're often in this situation is because they, they've actually, their body now is so metabolically broken. They don't produce GLP-1 anymore. They don't produce these satiety hormones because there is this rebound um, effect after weight loss like that. And what happens is the body is just becomes uns unsatiable. Like you cannot fill it enough. You you have this hunger that's but a not lot even of people normal. they're not they're not fat loss resistant because they're eating too much. A lot of these people are eating very no, small amounts because for years they haven't eaten enough. 
Yeah. And that's But can I say something? You asked, I'll I'll address your question, how long does it take them to lose ten pounds? We hope actually quite a good long time because we hope that only fat our goal is to only have fat loss shed. So it's going to be slower. However, sometimes these incretin hormones work so well that sometimes it's hard to do anything about it. The weight loss sheds fast, especially at first. Someone one of our friends just got on, you know, on one of the peptides our doctors offer and she's been doing everything right. She's still eating still make we like make sure you eat all your meals she's like still eating all her meals still having a protein she's been doing the exercise she lost four pounds in the first week oh wow after and, after having nothing for two yeah, years no movement. Yeah. and she's like what? and we're like get on your crossovers <laughs> yeah. you know like control this don't let it be fast <laughs> yeah, yeah you're trying to slow her down yeah okay so the actual real last question when is it available oh it's now Oh, it's on. Yeah. People can order You didn't now. read the email, Dan, Dan but that makes how, sense. how long have we been going? 24 yeah, and minutes. I have meat, but I have to go to the restroom. And the reason why I'm eating and restrooming is because <laughs> I came straight from my gym and I was like chugging the water and the green drink you, that I take. Were well, you wearing this in your gym? Yeah. Oh. I don't take it off in the last week. Um, we'll come, off. when you've gone potty, we'll come back because I want it. Let's just finish with what you're going to bring. It's so awesome. All right, we're back. Serene just went potty. What were we on earth were we talking about? Well, we were on Kiara, but we need to no, get to need today's to get yeah. topic. Okay, so my husband, um, he loves inspirational quotes. And oftentimes at breakfast, he will have just found some, you know, and there's the afternoon before and he'll just like sit and just tell us some. In fact, Arden's here, um, my eldest son, he's part of our video team here. And um, he'll often be texting you at breakfast, right, Arden? He'll be like texting you some quotes. And this one he brought to me, I'm like, I love it. Babe, you have to have it like written on our gym wall, wall or something. And I got him to send it to me this morning because I love it. It says, can I go? Oh, yeah, you can go. I was just going to say we're officially at the meat part of this party now, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it said, well, I don't know how meaty this is. Okay. but We're writing our book. So we haven't yeah. had time to like think about meat. We have time to no, just No, but I, I'm about to choose some meat. So go. Yeah. It's bison meat This time. is the quote. Youth is the gift of nature, but age is a work of art Ooh. and I'm like put that in my gym honey buns I love this this is exciting because you know when you're young you can grow muscle on bread you don't even have to work out in the gym you can just you know youth and all that comes with youth it's just a gift from nature it's a gift from God actually but you know whatever for the quote's sake but age it's a work of art and I love that because I'm all about contending I'm all about making the decades when you know when that natural just gift kind of just goes away uh making it now i'm turning i'm not going to be a person who is like oh well i'm over the hill now no now i'm an artist i might have been a mother and i still am i might be a wife and i still am i might be an author with pearl and i still am but guess what i am now too denny i've added another thing I'm an artist. Come on. Even if I've never painted a picture before, even if I'm just not even that way inclined, I am an artist. I'm feeling that. Yeah. I'm feeling that. It's, but again, with, from, the, from the set and my, my, my guy Gabe showing me how it needs to look and watching you guys work out and like even, you know, we're, we're not like most people working out, you know, they're in their 20s, they're single. They're doing it because they want to like attract people it, it's sort of a a bit of a a bit of a motive that can sort of die off once you do get your goals met and it happens so easy for them too it's just this yeah. gift yeah yeah but at our age you know to get passionate about the art of like crafting that we can actually make decisions and it might be work and it might take time but these are lasting decisions that make us feel and look our best why, what, what and, we, and it's not why just not? about vanity. Like, I, I'm, it's not at all about vanity to me. It's actually what I've learned by going into the gym. And it's not even just about the gym, but let's just start there. I've learned commitment. I've learned dedication. I've learned digging in when I don't want to dig in. You yeah. know, I've, I've, I've gotten yeah. a grit inside of me that I didn't have before. Totally. Um, I've learned, I've learned commitment at the core. But, you know, it's about the salt and pepper too, Dad, uh, Dan. It's like your hair now with a little gray coming in. It's like the artist would know to do that right about now because I'm telling you what, it shows, it shows that you've been through some stuff and there's some wisdom there. And, and artists, don't, they don't do everything perfect, right? The Mona Lisa had a little bit of the crooked smile, you know? Hey, can you ask me what I think? 
Oh, but Pearl, you never usually you just no. I'm doing a new in. thing. Oh, just is this because we've had so many people? No, it's a new thing. Ask uh, me what I think. Oh, what do you think, Pearl? Yeah. So guess where I learned that? You know how I was talking about that show, The Five, and they talk over one another. But I've been watching it because I thought, why are they so popular? Like, yet they talk over one another. So they do, but they also, even if they know a lot about the subject, they'll ask, they'll go, it's already in the script, right? But they'll ask one another, and what do you think, Greg? What do you think, Jesse? Okay, so they still talk one yes. another, so they, it doesn't stop them, no. but there is a little polite bridge to Well, go they ask to. one another, even if they're the expert on that, they ask like the other. So so that's what why do they don't... What Pearl? Yeah. So, well, and I want to do that to you guys too. So that's our new thing. Yeah, because we're going to learn to not yeah. talk over... Um, 80% will learn, but we want to keep a bit of 20 because that's who we are. Yeah, and if we get, get rid of 20. that, then we're morphing into everybody else. And we'll never Puke. get to say anything. Yuck. I know. It, we have, it's, it's the nature yeah. of how you s- speak in a family. Yeah, that's right. right. Like don't, my kids, all they just sort of yell over each other. Yeah. And it's really loud in my house. That's the way we grew up, yeah. Yeah, get over it, world. Where these single kids get these single kids with all their time to like rebuke the world for talking over themselves. <laughs> what family did you grow up in? You're the only child. No wonder you have all this time to type. That's right. <laughs> um, but since you asked me what I think about this, Serene, is I love it. And like you said, not for a vanity thing, not necessarily Danny to look like Gabe, but he was a no, good inspiration. Were we talking but... about Gabe in the break when I went to the no, toilet? No, no, no. But here's what I want to say. Do people know is... what we're talking about? Gabe was the muscled guy in his in, in yeah, Gabe's, commercial. Yeah, Gabe's great. it's getting all the calls because he's worked yeah. on his biceps. But okay. w- what I would say is, is to me, it. Yes, I could look at it as strength training. I'm going to do all those things, and I could look at it as a as a as a body. But to me, it's. It's a work of art on the inside too. Yes. It's my insulin levels. It's my hormone yes. levels. And and when you say work of art, an artist gains knowledge and yes. gains skill. It a work of art doesn't happen on its own. Tell you oh. what happens on its own: decline. Yes, <laughs> that's just what's happened. Yes. So if we are going to become works of art, that means us, the artist, has to study mm-hmm. the art of actually aging fantastically. And Serene, that's why I think we're getting flack right now because you have to get nerdy. People are like, why can't the program just go back to be how it once was where you just say, have some protein? Guess why? Because it was all just, everything worked like a gift back then. (laughs) And that was great. But guess what? We're older now and it's not working like a gift no more for us and probably not for you. (laughs) And if you're young, and, and, you know, you're entering trim healthy or whatever, and we want to keep it simple and you're just starting the plan. Sure. Level one nerd protein. Have some protein with your meal. I love it for you. Yes. But if you want to get to that place where you're going to be a work of art in your age Are and you time, talking, t- telling all of this to, 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 to your grandchildren, you know, to your young daughter who's still, you know, in her teens? She's not 20 yet, right? Oh, she's 19, yeah. 19. Autumn. No. You're just letting no. her eat healthy and do her thing. She's more of a we're protein nerd than I am, though. We're not <laughs> shoving this down no. any of our uh, children's throats because let it be the gift. But boy, there's a yeah, time. Yeah, so man. I'm just saying, yeah, we might get some flat because we're honing in. I, I never want this to be a plan of numbers or where you have to be so mathematical. You can't, you don't even know. It's like too complicated. I don't think so. Once you're basically a protein nerd, it's so jolly easy but then you practice and then you get skillful you know a good artist girl oh do you want to know what i think yeah i was gonna say i'll say one more thing and then i'm gonna ask you what you think um i would never ever ever have thought i was working out to myself today on tribe healthy you know (laughs) a membership i was working out to pearl right Um, i love working out to pearl i don't that's pride (laughs) i don't know but i get pearl you get her? You I get her. her. I understand her. She's kind of quiet and low-key and she just does her thing and I could just stand there and work out to Pearl. I don't know. They call me weird, but I like working out to Pearl. And I, But then the thought, <laughs> the thought hit me. Who would have thought you had ever been working out to yourself and you're creating these workout routines? And this is just insanity because you're the, the least person in the world to do this, right? And yet, I've, and yet it hit me like you're saying, Serene. But this is a work of art because I'm going to age fantastically. What do you think about that, Serene? Well, you see, now <laughs> I just want to tell you about what you think about this this little polite rule. Then we'll shoot to it's, you. It doesn't work anymore. I'm losing all my great thoughts. And I don't really have anything <laughs> massive to say, you see. I only had a button remark and it was going to work oh. then and now it doesn't work now. But what I was going to butt in and say, but I tried to like say it politely. Do you want to know what I think? 
I, I hate working out to myself because it's too much. It's another person and I only look, I only like to work out alone. So even <laughs> myself in the room with me would be too much. So I don't have friends in the gym no. because I don't want to talk. <laughs> I have to focus. The artist must have silence. The artist must have certain music. Yes. I cannot even have, you know how people like to get a little bit of beat, like you look up on the Google workout music and it's all this like sped up, like they do a loop on normal songs to speed it up even faster. Oh, my goodness. Too much, too much, too much. Slow it down. I want opera. Opera. Opera okay. or very, very Ooh. chill um, worship music, but artistic kind of worship yeah. music. Like Because I, I believe it. So I, I like to get in with my God, you know, when I work out. Um, he's not too much for me in the gym. But... Um, <laughs> But I'm telling you what, I get really neurotic. Get out of the gym, God. No, he's not too much. I want him in there with me. But the it's best very- quote of the day. <laughs> the day. <laughs> but guess what? But guess what? I it is so it's so artistic for me. I can't have anyone else in there. But but back to what I was saying. What was I saying? Oh yes, we're never left to rot. We have two options. When we're young, we get given the gift of bloom. Of anabolism, right? Anabolic. Everything just works. You eat white bread, you grow a bicep, right? Mm-hmm. Dan, you were in the hood eating pop tarts. You had a, bi- <laughs> had a bicep. Yeah, but not us ectomorphs. <laughs> but but it, he could throw Dan could throw a punch yeah. on, on hey. pop tarts. Yeah. It's all about the whiplash. And but when we are older, we're not left to rot. We get the wisdom of artistry. And that's why our new book's called Trim Healthy Wisdom. Let's go to Dan. <laughs> Dan, what do you think? It geeks me out so much <laughs> to see how professional Pearl is. <laughs> just trying something new. She makes her comment and then just, let's go to Dan. We're going to go to there him. There are hand movements involved. There are. And there's a camera that toggles to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, something Gabe said. And you know, they all do that too. They, they oh, fix I'm, their little knee sitting position. So oh, their yeah. wisdom I want to know what people think of this new arrangement I'm bringing though. I, it feels really good to mm. me. Yeah, I, I, I feel it. Um, something Gabe said, because I was just fawning over him the entire t- project, because I was just like, how can I do this? <laughs> I want some of those. And he said, man, it's, it's more about consistency than it is like how much weight you're lifting, you know, how much you're sweating it out for hours in the gym. He's like, he's like some weeks I'll do 30 push-ups, but every night. Just before I go to bed, I'll just knock out 30 push-ups. He's like, you know, to, to if you're really wanting to bulk up, you're going to then go back to maybe a, a more program. He said, but if you're just wanting to be like athletic and look your best, he was like, just be consistent every day. I just texted him. Yes. I said, so he's uh, your man friend now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. He's such a great guy. But uh, texted him and um, I said, talking about you on the podcast right now. <laughs> Anything you'd like to say about fitness? <laughs> he said, oh, yeah. He said, life change never comes before creating a lifestyle, which I think yeah. is so good. It's so good. You know, um, how old is this, Gabe? Uh, his agent allows him to say over 18. OK, but is he in your general early 40s, late Does 30s? he has some salt? He's, he, no, he's younger than me. OK, younger does than he? Me. So that means he still might have the gift of youth on his side. Uh, yeah, I mean, he was a professional. Uh, I think a college football player. So he just stayed in the zone. Mm. So when he left football, yeah. he just kind of kept that. Yeah. And um, do you know, I love over to me. Yeah. Oh, Serene. Well, yeah, Back to you, you, Serene. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, I love seeing people who maybe didn't even get gifted. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it just wasn't there. There it wasn't to be for them. They were born with the snips over to you. That no, fast. no, I was not gifted. Oh, okay. Um, but you still had a gift. You still were, you know, you ate. I had your the gift of research. You weren't, you weren't like you weren't broken metabolically. No, but, but I, I was I, broken with the muscles. I didn't have them. <laughs> but you know, s- seeing people that maybe really had a, a rough start of things, mm. they had the snips. You know, had yeah. genetic snips. Had, you know, it just started with with a what do you call it when people? What I am really having lack of words these days. Mm, um, I thought you were good on the estrogen. That's no, I'm to help. really great on the estrogen. It's actually been my whole life. I'm not <laughs> as gifted with the like. That's why I love to write. Yeah, because I can think. What is that word? I'm gonna yep. wait for it. Oh, that's it, and type it in. It's yeah. the artistry of it. Yes, but when I when I speak, it's like the nerves are happy to get that right word. Right. Do you know then. that you speak so well when you butt in? 
yes. all the words come. But because yeah. I asked you. Yeah, it's it's true. You're now. on the spot. I'm all on the fail. But what was I going to say? I was going to say, yeah. So people, I love seeing people that aren't gifted. And, and then all of a sudden in their 60s, mm. like they're late. They're, they're yeah. later than even the normal yeah. artists. Late bloomers. And um, they start their artistry journey. I'm telling you what, you watched one lady, Pearl. You yes. had me follow her for a bit. What was her name again? Train with Joan. You guys should follow her on Instagram. She is so inspiring. She's in her 80s now. She started, I believe, when she was close to 70. <laughs> it might have been past that. And she's got a before and after picture. She was. She's got glutes that are oh. high. Whoa, High and perky. Her body, but she's so natural and High lovely and perky looking. Glutes. Yeah. She doesn't try to look 20, Serene. She yeah. embraces her beautiful, beautiful age in her face and, and her body. And um and she's graceful. She's always classy with her words. So she doesn't she is well seasoned in wisdom as well as in uh, this artistry. And the artistry is uh, internal and external. Problems. It is the love that she professes to people that follow her. I, I, I'm so inspired with Train with Joan. I read her book. I would suggest you follow her um, just because of what she has accomplished. She shows her before picture and she was, you know, a woman that was extremely out of shape. I mean, she doesn't mind, she wouldn't mind me saying because like, you know, she had the postmenopausal belly. Mm -hmm. She had no muscle tone. Everything was sinking south. Uh, she was significantly overweight. And then she started strength training yeah. and she started protein eating and her daughter got, it, got her into it. And, and little by little, just little changes. And now, oh, Oh, what an inspirational story. I would love to have her on our podcast, we Nate. Nate, yes. we need to get trained with Joan. She lives in Mexico now, but she can come on by Zoom. Yeah, we've got to have her. We have to have her. But oh, I would be I in awe. It. I don't know what I would say. She's really yeah. one of my heroes. Amazing. And, and I love to, what do you have to have in your belt to be a great artist? Oftentimes the best artists are, they have perception, what you call like perception, depth perception. Um, because when you're when you're creating pictures, it's it's when there's depth to it, right? When when they know how to have like you know how you know you can create a house, but it's kind of like one dimensional, mm -hmm. and then you get the artist, and it's like it's all like so the, the depth perception is just amazing, and um, so so I love that. So we're talking here too about the the internal grit here. We're talking mm -hmm. about the the wisdom that comes with years internally, and and that's what I love when I'm in the gym is to want to kind of display what's going on in the inside, mm -hmm. and um, I, I love it. I love the inside job as well as the outside job, you know. For sure. And um, but but just talking to you guys that are listening, join us. You know, if you're in that, that, that season where it's not a gift anymore and it's not just happening by itself, why don't you become an artist? It's a fun hobby. It so. truly is fun when you embrace it as fun and when you no longer look at it as, oh, man, this is tough. Yes, it is tough. I, I would say no, it's that's part of the artistry. Yeah, because it's tough. But sometimes we get very despondent when it's tough. And I do think... That is natural, especially for people that have a much higher time than us. But Pearl, especially for artists. Have you yeah. seen artists work? Have you seen them? Yeah. Sometimes when they're working on their masterpiece, yeah. they take time and they get frustrated. Frustration is part of artistry, healthy frustration. And they will redo things and they will like, you know, like add to a spot and then add to a spot and then change that spot and then paint over it a little bit and add to a spot. And, you know, and so... In my gym in artistry, I might be working on one section of and not even the weight may change ever so minuscule. But you're talking about when you're talking about artistry, you're not really talking about in making a, a beautiful composition no. of your body. You're just talking about artistry to be healthy and fantastically aged, yes, right? Yes, I am. But I'm saying sometimes that that comes with a uh, with a plan. Yeah. I think it's good to have a plan. So I do have plans on certain parts of my body. I want my glutes to go northward, not south. <laughs> so I, I plan on the north. Yeah. And I work on the north. Do right? you know what? And, and it's ever so minuscule, the difference. You, like, I don't see it ever, but you might notice yeah. it from time to time on me. And it's, what I'm trying to say is it's not, it's going to be the work of an artist who has patience. Yeah. And who is willing to do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. You know, Train with Joan, speaking of her, she talks about how when she was in 
the typical woman of her age. She looked like someone who is very common in this culture, you know, just for an aging woman. She talks about how little she actually ate. She was like, I was not eating a lot. I am eating far more now. And, but my muscles just slurp it up, you know. And she doesn't look like a bodybuilder. She looks sleek and graceful, but she has northward glutes. <laughs> I mean, she has... It's the name of my next band. Northward glutes, yeah. <laughs> yeah northward glutes. Um, she definitely has some northward glutes. And, and, it's, and it's just amazing because, like, yes, she, she has been the artist, not for a particular body, but just, just to be healthy and and now all her you know insulin hormones are working so well but speaking of people you know serena i i got a, a message the other day of, of a woman yeah. on facebook message and she'd heard you talking about sam and how he no matter what he did he had a broken metabolism and and she she did a voice to text message to me mm. and i was at the grocery store i'm like who is this you know so i played and and, and there's someone and she's crying. She can barely get her words out. And she's like, and when I heard Serene say that, you know, her husband had a broken metabolism and wasn't him trying that one thing more and doing that one thing more, but that he had something that made it more difficult for him no matter what he did. And she was crying. She couldn't get the words out. She's like, it just, I feel seen. I feel seen. Oh, I feel wow. heard. Thank you. She said, if, any, if everyone goes against you, just know that you have one oh. person that administered to her and she's like and I have hope can I talk to you yes and I was gonna say you know we could talk about being artists mm -hmm. and maybe it's easier for you're us gonna say it yeah and 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 what would you like to say about no, that? say it away if you well I just on think it, some for some to. artists and for some masterpieces not that we're calling ourselves that but we are working we are. toward we are masterpieces we are. The God Bible says, says that. we're beautifully and wonderfully made and and I believe that we are meant to continue that artistry that he yeah. he put he. he but put I don't so want people to feel us. down that when they've tried like uh, and we say we go to the gym and we get and our eating and Pearl, and you know Pearl, that's what I'm saying. Tell you. Please let me just tell you about it. What do artists do? They have tools. Mm. They have tools. I mean, my look, like they they choose different kinds of paints and then they go and research the paints that will work for the kind of thing that they're doing. Sometimes they get jackhammers out. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they need heavy tools. Yeah, some Depending people can just paint with a soft making. brush and other people have to do the big whack of doodles. Yeah. Ain't that true, though? It is true. Boy, That and I, that's what I was going to say. And the, and the closing thoughts, boy, we're 48, 49 minutes in, was that, you know, don't think that an artist can just uh, get in there in the room and say, let's do some art. Like, yeah. it's, it's there's tools involved. Yeah. And there's oftentimes a, the tool, a, a different tool for a different yep. different season, different paint. Yeah. Man, that's good. Uh, uh, Denny, closing thoughts. In closing, I'd just like to say that it has been uh, an informative educational inspirational episode for me personally and i hope the people watching got as much out of it as i did what's that serious <laughs> closing thought i never know if you're serious or facetious or so facetious. anything i don't think you can spell facetious <laughs> probably, not. probably not see you later guys <laughs>